everyone, welcome back to Passion Art Potter. I'm Neve, and today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Harry Potter Invisibility Cloak. So let's get started. Weasley's where does it ring? It's the cupboard, guys. This is the cupboard. They actually move around, that's so cool. From Strand. So before we start, let's actually talk about the product. This is an invisibility cloak. You can apparently appear to disappear with this magical object based on a real movie prop so this is like how they did it in the movies which i already know how they did it but i think it's kind of fun having an actual invisibility cloak and like being able to watch yourself come invisible if that makes sense so this was 15 pounds from tesco's online it was like a special offer so i had to get it i know there is other models and versions but i think they're very much the same it might just be like a different tripod for your phone or like a different size cloak and before we start can we please just realize that this is a kid's toys and it probably won't fit me so the set includes i believe one tripod you also have an instruction manual and you have your code in the instruction manual and you also of course have the furry fluffy invisibility cloak so into the magic I'm just gonna tell you that this is just a normal cloak so now it is time for me to finally spoil the magic I'm JK Rowling as Rita Skeeter don't come at me producer slash director of all the Harry Potter movies so it is half a green screen in case you didn't know so I know that people like to Put themselves in a green screen and like transport yourselves into like different areas so on the back of course we have like a traditional invisible cloak and then yeah we have the green screen just to let you know actually i did unbox this when it arrived where it arrived like a week ago and i tried it out once or twice and i've just like repackaged it so these things don't come bare in a box just lying around earlier in the week when i took some videos there was kind of fail so let's just have a moment to appreciate this lovely clip. What is it? what happened was it you're meant to give it time to scan but it doesn't tell you when it's done scanning and I accidentally stood there I was like and I was like about to press the button or something and when I hold up this invisibility cloak it's got my face on it. So now it is time for the actual fun part of constructing and actually filming so the tripod just clicks together and it just screws on like this. You can also adjust like what angle, but I don't really get these because like who would want it like that? It has sort of like this lifty uppy parts that if you had a massive block phone, then it might fit. The little foam legs just kind of bend. And there we go, that just sits down on my hands not big enough, but you get it. That just sits like that. And that's all the assembly that you actually have to do for the whole part. So now it's time for the magical part. We get You have to download the WoW Stuff app. And so then you have to click on the invisibility cloak and you click on it and you press go. Come on, do it. Okay, I accidentally. So then it says set your scene and it tells you 
three easy steps to just get everything ready. Hi, it's day two. We decided to film the next day because we were just too tired last night. And it's nice to just do it the next day. So we're back in the filming room. The, yeah, do the scenes of like the shots of me trying it on. And I'm also gonna give you a quick summary and then I'm gonna do my outro. So let's actually get to filming. <laughs> so it's on. Let's get filming. So for this part, basically what's happening is I've got to press the record button and it's going to take like a picture of the room. So then when I hold up the green screen, it's just going to like show the picture before. So I kind of need to run out really fast. So, um, I not at all. Uh, maybe I should move this back because this thing is definitely going to fall off. Right. Basically, oh, it just said that the camera's moving. I always have this one long way. No, I didn't. Good footage. It's actually really good. Harry Potter and the Floating Mascara Does Harry Potter use mascara? <laughs> Harry Potter <gasps> It's flying! Oh, really slowly Wingardium Mascara <gasps> Drop Yay! <laughs> So we had a lot of fun creating cool moves with the invisibility cloak and now we're just going to talk about my thoughts and my opinions, pros and cons, all of that sort of stuff. So some pros is that it's very magical and fun to like be able to do what they did in the movies and it's fun to make yourself like invisible and there's like lots of different ways that you can use it. It's not like you just have to cover yourself under it. Like as you can see I did the floating mascara which J.K. Rowling's new book is. Just kidding, it's not. Don't get too excited. She should do though. J.K., if you wanna, if you wanna work together, we will. But yeah, I think that it's very good for like having that sort of magical feeling. My cons though is really annoying me. We had to. Some things were lost because of if the camera moves, then it deletes the footage, and it's like quite a wooden, wobbly tripod, you know. That's just like a really light touch. And we haven't got the most sturdiest floorboards or anything or anywhere to put stuff on. It's really, really sturdy. So like we had to film the mascara thing five times. We had we did like do the thing while well, me and Aoife were both under it and then we were like both hiding, but that deletes it. So it's very hard. I suppose if you're not doing it for like a video matter thing, then perfectly fine but we had to try and get things as best as we can so yeah it was quite fun and I think for what you're getting for 50, 50 don't drop your wand so for what you're getting for 15 pounds I think it's not expensive but it's not cheap it's just like mid-range I think it's good yeah and also this probably would come in handy for like using a green screen anyway you could literally just hand this up so yeah, so today and for every video more, we are planning on doing like a question of the day. So leave a comment down below on any question that you'd like us to answer. And today's question, our very first question is right here. So it says, hi Neve, can you tell me how they do special effects in Harry Potter? Especially the invisibility, invisibility cloak. Loving the channel. Thank you, Marion. So the way they do special effects is sometimes it's just like all CGI. Sometimes, of course, it's like green screens and yeah the invisibility cloak is exactly the same to the replica we have here but I don't think it's got the other side of like the patterny side the black side I think it's just one big green sheet yeah they had two they had two they had the nice one and then they had the great one and so one thing is that some special effects they have nothing there like in an interview with Emma Watson Emma Watson said that she really hates how you don't see the ghost and you have to be like 
how can you be nearly headless to like straight air? So she didn't like that. So it's just really CGI and computer science and whatever. And Dobby the half self is one big doll when he's dead. He's like just like a baby when he's dead, like a doll. And he's literally just CGI as well. Um, so yeah, so if you like this video, then make sure to tell me by giving a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos then like this, then make sure to hit the subscribe button. And while you're there, make sure to click the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you get notified every time I post what's not to like. I'll see you all in my next video. Make sure to cast Lee Moss to bring light into your life. And let us know any videos you would like to see in the comments down below. I'll see you all next video. Bye! Time for the beep thing. Beep! Beep! beep. Really, really loud beep! And that's gonna beep. go in the beeps. Move a bit closer. I want no, to... you're actually really good. Is that, can you see my hand? Yeah. Can you see it now? No. Good. Right. Are you ready? Yeah. Just back down. I need to try and edit I've got a this. light bar. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. Like that. Just beware. I probably should have got the adults one, but I don't know where the adults one is. So. <laughs> That's gonna go in like the outtakes, isn't it? I discard it. That's fine. We'll just start from the beginning. I'm just gonna. Okay. Turn. Should we just do the whole thing from the beginning? Like it does for him. Look, he's like probably only seven and he's doing this Harry Potter thing. And then he's like, oh, I'm so tiny. And they're like, oh, good, we actually found a kid that this is big enough for. So, look, that's not going to probably fit me. Do you want to start that open? Yeah, I just think.